Hello and welcome to today's edition of The Property Show. I do hope you're having yourselves a beautiful Sunday evening. With the challenges that come with property financing and the low uptake of housing units, is real estate still the best investment option? That's in our discussion today. But first... Duchess Park is a luxurious and prestigious community in Nairobi. It is a contemporary modern apartment located in the exclusive serene leafy suburb of Lavington along Hatheru Road. The door opens up to a walkway and on the right is a guest cloakroom which boasts of a pure granite counter which is black in color, an oval ceramic sink and the walls are tiled which makes it easy to clean and manage. Its roof has a little bit of gypsum and LED lights to give the room a cool feeling. Each unit comes with the bathroom mirror which is not as plain as usual. A wooden frame has been added on it to make it even more appealing. The home's walkway leads to a spacious lounge. This room has two television points and is fully furnished with a 14-seater sofa set. New trends in the deco market have been incorporated by using gypsum and LED lights. In addition to electrical lighting, its large windows allow ample natural lighting during the day as well as moonlit nights. The lounge opens up to a balcony. One of the biggest advantages of an outdoor balcony is the ability to maximize living space. Another benefit is that it generally offers more privacy. They say that the kitchen is the heart of the home and we have to believe it's true. Whether small or large, the kitchen is the hub of the home. As you enter the kitchen, you walk into an open plan dining area. It is very spacious and is an 8-seater, but depending on your family size, it can also accommodate a 10 or even up to 12-seater sofa set and still have some more space left. Moreover, the large windows, gypsum roof and LED lighting and a beautiful chandelier magnify the beauty of the dining room, making it look warm and inviting. The kitchen area itself is a masterpiece. It is an American type which is now the new trend whereby the cooker has been placed strategically in the center rather than the traditional way where you would find the cooker in the corner and it is fitted with a hood. The kitchen has special features such as granite countertops, a marble wall, a double sink, a fitted microwave, an oven and a pantry for more storage. Each house has a laundry room and an all en suit DSQ. The apartment has four bedrooms, all en suit. Three bedrooms have similar features. Each has in it a wardrobe that is partitioned differently to suit your comfort, a study area. The master bedroom is a little different from the others in that it has walk-in wardrobes that have his and hers. It is very spacious. The room has an elegant jacuzzi, a raining shower head and cubicle shower, small spaces for keeping little things, a mirror and a provision for the ones who shave, a bathroom sink and water closet. It has gypsum and LED lighting which again create an opportunity to play around with the lighting to create your desired mood. And to give more natural light, it has large windows that have sliding doors that open up to a curved balcony just enough for two as they take in some fresh air and enjoy the home. From the master bedroom balcony, you can have a view of the clubhouse, the swimming pool, landscape gardens, parking and the jogging track. My name is Aida Yaki Marango. Um, I'm the founder and CEO of Kwetu Deco and Designs. We try to uh, blend in African and contemporary art. So we use recycled uh, cutters and Ankara fabric, sisal, and uh, we also use the water hyacinth to make our products. 
we do coffee tables, we do the poofs, we do the calabashes, we do the wall hangings, we do mirrors, we do bags, handbags that are blended in the Ankara fabric, we do table runners, table mats. We, we're just going like crazy with anything interior. We began in the year 2016. We started like a, just a hobby and it's something that was just uh, experimenting. And then 2017, that is when we started doing it as a business. As we speak, people are really now appreciating the locally made goods. And there are more of uh, people are loving something African. They, they are appreciating their own. People do not want uh, goods that have been imported. Uh, we get the size off from Kitui. We have women that we are working with. So who do the size all and then they send it to us. The tires, we, we get them from local garages. We use very old tires. It's not like we buy new tires, we buy them from local garages. Basically you start with washing the tire, you have to make sure it's clean. Then you get the fabric. First we source the fabrics from the local, I mean locally sourced fabrics. So you have to have the fabric, you have to source the wooden parts, you have to get a carpenter to cut for you the wooden parts and to even add the legs on, on the wooden parts. So once you have all the materials ready, then you start and your tire is clean. So you start by covering the tire then you cover the, you get a cushion, you cover the, the wooden part, you pad it with the, with the cushion, and then you cover it with the with the fabric. After that, you you that part is done. Then you have your covered uh, you covered your tire. Then you put the cushion, you glue the cushion together with the tire, and then you glue the wooden part to the tire. Then that completes the whole process of now making the poof. If you're making the coffee table, instead of adding the the cushion. You do the you do a, a black top, and then you put glass on top. So there are people who want glass on top. There are people who want wooden tops. So it just depends with how what people want. I started with no capital. What I had at home, I had a tire, I had a piece of fabric, I had uh, just glue. You know, it's you can do something. You just start small. Do something. Don't wait for that day when you'll get capital, do something. But I know it's it's not easy, because even as we have a lot of challenges, right now there are so many things we would be doing if we had a lot of capital. But we would be in big markets, in malls, we would be in supermarkets, but we are really getting there slowly. So I think you just have to start small. Thank you so much for staying with us. Remember, wherever your site for home is, I do hope it's fruitful. And also, check out Hearth Interiors. They're located on Modidi Road, right here in Westlands, Nairobi. After the break, our discussion on the real estate outlook. You don't want to miss that. Thanks for joining us in our discussion today. Is there a glut in the real estate market and which sectors are hurting the most? We are talking to Johnson Denge of Saiton Real Estate. Karibu sana Johnson. Thank you. Good to have you on the show. Thank you. Talk to us about the last quarter of 2018. What was happening there and has it changed much since we got into 2019? Well, we saw a bit of slowdown in the uh, general real estate market. Uh, demand going a bit down, mm -hmm. supply uh, in some sectors, especially commercial, part of residential uh, and part of uh, retail space also uh, increasing. Uh, a bit of, uh, uh, maybe I would say a bit of improvement coming in, uh, especially uh, with the focus on affordable housing and the focusing of general developers on how to get uh, uh, which um, segments of the market have a niche. Okay, so we can't deny the fact that there's been the reduction, a reduction or um, a sort of a flat space, a flat scenario for a while now. That is what has affected all these things. How 
then are we going to manage or control the oversupply and what sectors exactly should we be watching out? The market uh, generally experiences the normal force of supply and demand uh, where forces comes in of reduction in supply whenever uh, will be developers realize the supply is hurting their sales. So it's a demand and supply push, mm -hmm. which uh, currently we say is a buyer's market. Uh, it's usually uh, economically looking at it to say whenever supply is more than six months demand, then it's a buyer's market. Even as we are talking about the oversupply, for instance, in a residential uh, sector, why are we not seeing that affecting now the Mwanainchi? There are markets that have actually seen a correction of prices and by correction just bringing it to normality on demand and supply. Uh, generally the fundamentals even with oversupply, the fundamentals of construction cost, land cost still remain. So this market does not necessarily experience dropping prices, what it experiences is stagnation in prices. So you will see rentals or uh, rental per meter square in those markets that have empty spaces largely remaining uh, stagnant mm -hmm. for uh, some time as the market recovers. Yeah. But uh, mm -hmm. we realize also in residential oversupply is not all over. There's some markets, some markets especially in upper midway and upper end that are experiencing a bit of oversupply and that's where we are likely to see stagnation. The low and mid, mid to low or end segments have huge opportunity and they have a lot of demand. People are still servicing loans. The banks are still, you know, asking for the repayments. How are the developers going to service these loans if they're not getting the money back? If there's nobody, if there's no tenant? It's such a tricky part because you also realized towards the end, uh, last quarter of 2018, yeah. also the property, distressed properties generally increased. Yeah. The auctioneers also saying yeah. that uh, they are not even able to dispose what they There's are distressing. There's no one to buy. Yeah. Mm. So what we are what like used to see is that uh, we will see, and especially for developers, innovative ways of uh, getting financing, including uh, the whole array of looking into alternative funding, the use of, uh, uh, let's say, not for specific or privately uh, uh, deeds or real estate trust. We'll see people going to look for uh, partners in terms of bringing in, for instance, equity partners to help them service their loan. We will see a lot of refinancing, uh, of which uh, most institutions, knowing the way the situation is, or financial institution, will also allow refinancing so that you're able to get longer term. Do you think it's a bit late in the day for us to be running now to help people uh, secure mortgages? Because, I mean, 25,000 or even less than 10,000 Kenyans um, only servicing mortgage out of a, a population of over 40 million or so. I mean, that's a bit, uh, that's, that's, that's really low. It is not really low because if you look at it, uh, uh, I know uh, partly they say about 74 percent, actually 74.6 percent of Kenyans uh, earn 50,000 and below, with the rest earning 50 and above. Uh, but from a real estate and only three percent and 100k and above. And above. It's ridiculous. Yes. These are the ones who can actually get access to loans. Yes. Uh, or maybe be mortgages. able to service a mortgage at the current rates. Yeah. But if you look at the what government is coming up, a plan that is coming up, that first of all increasing the mortgage period mm. uh, from your average 15 years to about 25 to 30, which will reduce repayment rates. They are also uh, trying to come up with uh, better terms in the mortgage refinancing or providing more uh, money to would be mortgage institutions yeah. to fund these people, which will uh, be able to, because one of the challenges that this, you need this money to rotate for longer. Yes. If you, a bank has a certain capital that can only, that can only be come back in 15 years, we want it to uh, we need to give it more money, which mortgage financing companies likely to be uh, doing when it yeah. comes to four.
they say also that infrastructure follows development and we is that such a hindrance for you and uh, when it comes to you know settling on where to do some of these projects because people we go where infrastructure there's good infrastructure what do you have to say about that it is a big hindrance and um, a huge cost uh, especially in uh, uh, any real estate development uh, you realize that drainage, sewer, uh, supply of water, other related infrastructure like schools, uh, areas of shopping, uh, spaces of, of uh, relaxing yeah. or recreation Pretending. are key yeah. to bringing in a holistic lifestyle. So uh, the way things have been is that most of these places have no infrastructure. So we go in as developers and provide both the housing and also provide this infrastructure, bringing the cost a bit higher mm -hmm. because, again, you don't want to do a product that will be nowhere. Okay. Thank you so much for your time Thank you. and all the very best. Thank you. Kwa jina Kamili, naitwa ni Mwaka Mangi, Saumu. Saumu ndo inajulikana zaidi. Nilitoka tu Mombasa nikaja huko 2014 dadangu yuko Kiserian akani akaniongelesha unaweza kuja Nairobi nikamwambia Nairobi ni mbali huku tumezoea kwetu ah, lakini sasa hata mimi pia nilikuwa hivyo nikamwambia ni sawa wacha tutajaribu kuna kazi akasema kazi iko ukija nitakuja kuonyesha hata zile zengine tuendelee nawe pia uji muduki maisha nilipotafuta nyumba nilipatia hapa Rongai na nikaona pia ni rahisi na usafiri kwenda tao. Sasa nikaona haina haja nijisumbue tena kutafuta tena nyumba mahali kwingine. Na hapa nimepata ojwa pia kuhama hama kuna haribu pia vyombo. Sasa nikaona wacha tu niketi hapa kwa sababu mahali ilikuwa nakaa ilikuwa kulikuwa siku hakuko vizuri hata nishawaibiwa. Sasa Siku wanataka niendelee kukaa pale nimaliziwe vitu. Changamoto ambazo huwa tunazipata ni la kwanza huwa huwezi jua ile nyumba iko vipi. Utaingia kweli lakini hujajua iko vipi. Kwa sababu mara nyingi tunaambiwa nyumba iko na maji na stima ni yako. Lakini after all ukiingia ukikaa one month unapata maji hakuna ukiongea na kiateka na kwambia ah maji yanakuja yanakuja sasa yanakuja mpaka saa ngapi mara stima ndio hiyo imeenda pia kutafuta unaweza kosa hiyo pesa hiyo debt ambayo umeambiwa ulipe ukakosa lakini vile nilifunzwa na vile kuishi na watu kama umeambiwa ni siku fulani na umeona hutafaulu. Uko na right ya kumwambia mwenye kuchukua pesa ni kweli lakini nimekosa leo. Naombo ningoje mpaka siku fulani. Hiyo ni hata kama alikuwa na mahasira atatulia. Lakini siku nyamaza hivyo. Niseme kwa sasa hapa niko, niko sawa. Niko sawa kabisa. Nikiingia niko sawa. Nikilala nikiamuka na shukuru. Na mnakaribishwa. Nikitoka kazi jambo la kwanza naika music naenda jikoni. Naenda kutayarisha chakula nitakachokula. After hapo naenda bedroom sasa natulia. Mm. Kama sitting room nilipenda sitting room wajua kiwa na hiyo sebuleni ni lazima si wote wenye kupenda kwa sababu hata kwetu ninaona watu wengi ni sebuleni lakini wameka zile jamvi ama zulia kama ile lakini ile nyingine siku ziko mara mbili mtu anaeka na naeka na pilo na yeye yuo yuaka lakini mimi nilipenda seats kwa sababu sipendi kuketi chini sana nataka nikija niwe ninaketi kwa kiti na nikitoka pale kile bedroom ninapenda kitanda kwa sababu nikilalia huwa nasikia niko sawa
katika nyumba ambayo nimeishi zote zile nyumba ambazo nimeishi na kulingana na hapa ra, Nairobi hapa Rongai nyumba ambayo nimeishi nimeona iko sawa ni nyumba kama hii kwa sababu hata sasa ile uko na shida unaweza pigia hata soja kwa sababu huyo soja ndo nilimjua fast nikiingia sasa unampigia unamwelezea na anakufanyia sasa sioni kama kuna kuna shida nyingine mara nyingi watu wengi wanakoniwa mtu anaambiwa njoo hapa kuna nyumba ukifika pa, uh, mtu anakuambia hapa kuna nyumba lete pesa ukienda ukipeana pesa baadaye ukimpigia hapatikani sasa kile ambacho mimi huo ninafikiria afadhali uende kwa agent kwa sababu hata watu wenyewe uwezi muamini huyu ni mtu mzuri ama ni mbaya sasa inabidi uchukue muda utafute kama utapata ofisi ya agent uende upale uende uulizie ndio uende uonyeshwe japokuwa utachukuliwa kitu kidogo lakini haja yako ni upate nyumba Thank you so much for staying with us that's all the time we had for you this evening Remember to keep talking to us on our SMS lines, on our Facebook pages and all our social media handles and give us your comments. We do really appreciate them. I especially want to thank those of you who keep sending us your DIY ideas. Very soon we will be doing them up with you. Until next time, asante sana.